Well, 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 if it ain't good old Tito with another hot toilet tank, baby. Yeah, you know Tito's back better than ever. It's Monday, September 16th, 2024, and, and Tito is in a phenomenal mood. Everyone's having a great Monday morning. You know Tito's loving life right now. And my, oh my, what a great weekend it was. We got we to gotta recap the weekend that was with youth sports and we gotta talk. We gotta hold some people accountable. You know, it's been a couple weeks since the last toilet take, and I'm sure everyone's wondering how the Saint Joan of Arc homecoming, Paris picnic, whatever you want to call it, how that how that all took transpired. And and Tito is gonna get to that momentarily. But but my oh my, what a great weekend it was in the Ulrich household. Tito was coaching these youngsters left and right. And on Saturday, what a great afternoon of soccer. We had kindergarten soccer. We had fourth grade soccer. We had we even had club soccer on Friday night for the, for for Tito's oldest son and and I got I, I have to sing his praises because my oh my had an outstanding free kick goal with a great strike to the to the far post and what a phenomenal strike! It was so great seeing his reaction, seeing the ball at the back of the net, Daddy. It was a great moment. Brought a tear to Tito's eye seeing him celebrating. Seeing all the teammates excited for Benny. And what a great strike it was. We were talking about the entire car ride home from Soccer Park. And it was just a phenomenal moment. And then leading right into Saturday morning with, with Tito's second son in kindergarten soccer. Which was an absolute rock star of a time. You know, kindergarten soccer is not too, it's not too competitive at all. It's more like herd soccer, right? Just keeping them all engaged. Keeping them all moving in the right direction. And... And Tito, Tito's second son even even got on the scoring sheet, had a had a goal and a couple of assists, and it was a great performance. Expecting big things from that group in a couple of years, I'll tell you that right now, Dad. We got a we got a couple of stud athletes, and it was a great afternoon. And then even even in the afternoon soccer, where the fourth grade boys came up with their first victory of the year, and it was a great performance. All thanks to great coaching, right? I mean, the coaching for these teams is is tremendous. And when I say coaching, it, coaching equals Tito, Daddy, and it's all about Tito because he got those teams firing on all cylinders early on in the regular season. And looking forward to making big things happen in the next several years, but related to soccer, basketball, baseball, track, you name it, Tito wants to coach it. Hell, if the boys want to play esports, Tito will organize a team for that. I'll tell you that right now. We got some rock star players. We got some awesome parents, and what a great time it is. But you know. The the, the 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 primary premise of this tour that take is, you know, everyone knows how involved Tito is in the community. You know, Tito helps out with all the sports, whether it's baseball, basketball, soccer, track. I pretty much do it all. Even volleyball, I do it all. I love it. And that's probably my favorite sport, volleyball. I'll tell you that right now. But, you know, from time to time, Tito does other things. There's other fundraising activities. I do... I do this NFL Survivor Pool, right, where I, I help I help raise money for the Athletic Association. I also do the Barge Badness Pool, right? Everyone does a Barge Badness Pool, and, and so Tito organizes one for the Athletic Association. And I, I spend a lot of time and energy on doing this. Hell, I even organize an adult activity on Tuesday nights. I do pickup basketball up at the Joan Dome. I mean, I do it all, Daddy. I do all this stuff. But yet, some people, some friends, and some other SECA parents want to try to hold Tito accountable. They want to talk about, oh, Tito, what's going on with Survivor football? You got eliminated in the first week. What's going on with that, Dad? I thought you knew a lot about football. Oh, Tito, you organized to pick up basketball for the adults. Why can't females come? And why does it have to always be basketball? Why can't we do volleyball? Why can't we do pickleball? Why can't we do wiffle ball? I mean, I have people chirping me left and right. I get people texting me. They're trying to steal my shtick. They're saying, well, 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 Tito, what happened with the Survivor football pool? I'll tell you what happened. We got damn Joe Burrow picking. Tito picked the Cincinnati Bengals in week one. And Joe Burrow shows up with bleach blonde hair like he's like he lost some sort of bet. I don't know who he lost the bet to. He looked freaking ridiculous. The bleach blonde hair was 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 popular back in the in the late 90s with Fernando Tatis, not with you, Joe Burrow. 
Forget that Joe Burrow swag. It's more like Joe Burrow wag. I don't even know. What a whoop. And then you came and you came and going to Arrowhead yesterday and beat the Kansas City Chiefs with that fraud Mahomes. What a loser you are. Never mind that Joe Burrow swag. It's more like I said, it's more like Joe Burrow wag. Well, big old I I'm becoming more of a hater of Joe Burrow than Patrick Mahomes, and that's saying a whole hell of a lot. I'll tell you that right now. But yeah, I got people chirping me that I picked the Bengals in week one. Like, like Tito knows what the hell he's talking about related to the NFL. And then I got people chirping me, again, at homecoming. I mean, homecoming, Tito puts on an absolute master class with how to run a broad booth. Never mind I had two other broad captains that have been doing this for decades with Alex and Kyle. No, it was all Tito's It was all Tito's expertise. I got people singing my praises left and right by, oh, this is the smoothest the broth booth has ever, has, has ever been ran. Yeah, thanks to Tito, I'll tell you that right now. And I got people chirping me, talking about, hey, let's make pickup basketball more like pickup sports. And why can't the females come? Guess what? I got news flash for you. Anybody that wants to come can come. I'm not holding this to females or males. Anybody wants to show up, show up. As long as you're 18 years or older, just bring up basketball and come on down to the Joan Dome. And I don't want to hear about, oh, I don't want to play basketball. I want to play volleyball. Well, newsflash, the damn, the damn volleyball net at the Joan Dome is about 1,500 pounds. It takes about eight hours to set it up because the damn athletic association can't get these damn aluminum posts that are like 15 pounds. So it takes about seven hours. And I'm sick and tired of being held accountable with trying to figure out, hey, who's playing on Monday nights? Because guess what? The school wants to set up for a school event. Hey, Athletic Association president, how about you take care of that yourself? Quit asking Tito. Quit asking Tito all the damn questions like I'm some sort of director. I'm just a willing participant. I'm trying to volunteer my time and energy. But yet I got people still trying to hold Tito accountable. And frankly, I'm tired of it.